Here's our top surprise and fact about the Beijing Winter Olympics and this once in a lifetime event is something we should all be clued up more about, right? Yes. Beijing has certainly seen their share of troubles, so to be given this honour is a big deal. So in order to find out more, we got digging into some Beijing Olympic secrets. There's some facts out there that are genuinely surprising. And we figured you too may be interested to know what we have discovered. By knowing the top details about the Winter Games, we can appreciate the Games in a whole new way. By the end of this video, you'll be a Beijing Winter Olympic Info Generator. Your friends and family will be begging to shut you up. <laughs> Let's go! It's Carrie and Berry. Hey, hey Carrie, Carrie and Berry. Berry. I'm Carrie. I'm Berry. And this is the Beijing Winter Olympic surprising facts that you didn't know and you probably should. The Beijing Olympic is here. It's a big deal. And it's the first city to have a summer and a winter Olympics. Beijing is the first Olympic venue to host the Games where natural snow is not exactly common. To combat this, the Olympic Games installed artificial snow machines including hundreds of snow guns. Why Beijing? Beijing. So why Beijing? There wasn't actually many countries left to choose from. The International Olympics Committee or IOC approached Norway who declined after being presented a list of their requirements including a couple of dedicated traffic lanes to be available 24 hours a day. Crazy! So they weren't happy with the rules. No. Beijing managed to save a lot of their own resources due to many of the venues used in 2008 Summer Games being converted as Winter Game venues. In fact, Beijing only had to build one new structure, the National Speed Skating Oval. There are are seven brand new events in the 2022 Winter Games. These include snowboard cross relay, freestyle skiing and short track speed skating relay. There's also a new woman. <laughs> You're gonna have a hard time saying this one. There's also a new women's only event called Monobob. Monobob. Seriously, that's the name of it. Yeah. Monobob. <laughs> You'll probably be aware of the tough censorship on the internet in China. Mm. Mm. Wi-Fi restrictions have been lifted during the Olympics so athletes can share posts to social media. But we expect this lifting of restrictions to be temporary and managed. The number of countries at the time of making this made it a bit previous. Uh, was is 202 expected <clears throat> countries expected to participate. Don't read that properly. Bear in mind we filmed this previously and it took a while to get up. Athletes expected to participate is 10,500. Officials expected to participate 20,000. Volunteers 70,000. Flipping eight. So are you all enjoying the Winter Olympics that are being shown lately? If so, let please us know. let us know in the comments below. Where next for the Olympics? So on schedule at the moment we're expecting Paris in France in 2024 and uh, then it will be going to Milan and Cortina de Arpezzo in Italy in 2026 in Los Angeles USA in 2028 and in Brisbane Australia in 2032 and that's oh. our schedule lineup for what's coming next. The Olympics are fun it's a chance to compete and let off some steam but there's more to it than that it's showing passion and honour to your country. It's a time that the world actually unites for something positive. And no matter what you think of it, it's a pretty huge revenue generator for a place. Share this video with somebody who's an, 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 an Olympic, Olympic enthusiast. enthusiast. That was hard to say. And if you felt a bit of motivation to get moving since the Olympics, then good. Get moving. Get exercising. A bit of motivation. We may just see you taking part. In, in the next Olympics. But did you know A we say, a we say, a we say, a we say. Wrong, wrong country, oh. Garrett. <laughs> a big thanks to NordVPN, the sponsors of this video. Protect your online privacy from snooping eyes today by going to nordvpn.com forward slash Kerryberry.
They're astoundingly astonishing, and strikingly bewildering. It's Carrie and Barry. How do you say goodbye in China? 